Hello friends, Tony here. Now in the previous video we worked with uh, multi-tenancy and I used a team model for multi-tenancy. So here we can list all the teams this user belongs to. Also we can update the team and we have also employees belonging to this team and here is showing. So for example we are inside the Spotty team and here is the employee with this name. If I navigate to the Laracast's team, got the employees, now we have a new one. Okay, so for Laracast, the name of the employee is Aretha, for the Spati is Kalum. Okay, now in this video I'm going to work with the multiple panels. So I'm going to create a new panel. This is going to be for the admin one and a new one I'm going to name it uh, app and I'm going to move the multi-tenancy on the app. Okay, so for that let's open the VS Code and first I'm going to open the terminal here and let's say now to create a new panel you can use uh, make colon filament dash panel command and give the name, the unique name of the new panel. So artisan, which is the alias for PHP artisan, make colon filament dash panel and give it the name so I'm going to name it app hit enter successfully created the app panel provider and also we have a warning here we've attempted to register the app panel provider in your config slash app.php file as a service provider but if you get an error you can manually register the service provider by adding it to the provider's array. So let's close this and let's open the uh, config app.php. Here is the app panel provider, so successfully is registered here. Let's close that. Now let's open the app and inside the provider's filament we have two files right now. The admin panel provider and the new one which is the app panel provider. Here we have a different ID, app, and I'm going to open here. For the admin, we have ID admin, path admin, and this is a default one. For the app, we have ID app and path app. Okay, let's change the colors also. So I'm going to copy the colors we have here and paste it right here. For the primary I'm going to leave amber and remove the indigo here. Let's save. Now discover resources we have app path and filament slash app slash resources. The same for pages filament slash app slash pages and for widgets filament slash app slash widgets. So we have a different uh, path from the admin panel. So if I navigate down for admin panel we have just filament slash resources. Instead for app panel we have filament slash app slash resources. And then everything is the same. So we have middleware and also out middleware. The same we have here also. Now as I said I'm going to move the tenant inside the app, not here, because right now is inside the admin as you can see. So if I refresh, nothing happened, but let's move the tenant, uh, tenant registration and also the tenant profile. So I'm going to cut them and move inside the app panel provider. So right here, I'm going to move it. Now on the admin panel provider, just scroll up and move the remove the team, uh, register team and the edit team profile from here, save and we need to import now inside the app panel provider. So I'm going to say import here, also import the register team, but the register team is inside. So let's see register team is inside the filament pages, tenancy and edit team profile, also register team profile. Let's create a new directory, a new folder here inside the filament app and I'm going to move 
pages inside the app. And let's scroll down and let's import now the register team and also the edit team profile. Now if I see we have app filament pages and not register team. Yeah, we need to also to change the namespaces app filament backslash app again and save the same on the register team so app filament app backslash pages tenancy okay let's close also close this one and add also the app not here but here so app backslash and the same to this one okay now if i come here we are inside the admin and just navigate directly to the admin refresh now we don't have the multi-tenancy inside the admin we have only the employee management system management and user management if i navigate now to slash app because in the app panel provider for the path we have app so let's navigate there hit enter here is the app panel we have the multi-tenancy here so select Laracas ok and select uh, Spotty good now if I log out here so let's say sign out we have this road login not defined because we need the chain also in the app panel provider lo the login method the same we have in the admin panel provider so login let's do the same here change the login method and let's save and let's come here and refresh now we have the login inside the app slash login and if I log in okay now let's uh, here in the app panel I want so let's go back to the admin I want to have uh, employees and also department so for example for the Spotty team, I'm going to create a department for uh, what I want, which is going to belong to the Spotty team. Also for the Laracas team, different department and also employees. Now for the employees, we have added. So if I open the employees migration, we have added the team ID here. So let's copy this and let's do the same also on the department. So here we have only the name, but we need to add also the team ID because the department also is going to belong to the team. And let's close this. Also, I'm going to close this one, this one, this one. Then let's navigate inside the app and models, employee, we have a relationship team method so public function team belongs to so we need to do the same also on the department paste it here and let's import the belongs to here and then let's navigate in the team model we have the employees and members we need to create also the relationship between the team and the departments so let's say department and let's save so now we have the relationship we need to run the artisan migrate fresh there dash seed okay and i think we have error in the database seeder yeah because we have this department create so let's remove that and let's save and let's run again good let's close this and also database cedar close this one and close this one 
Good, we have 404 not found because we don't have the spotty, but if I come here, yeah, register new team and let's register a uh, spotty team also. Spotty team slug, and yeah, we are here. And let's register a new one for Laracas just to have here. So we have Laracas and Spotty, very good. Now I want to have the resources here for the employees and department. For that, we need to create a new resource which is going to be inside the filament app resources okay because the app panel provider for the resources is going to look inside the filament app resources okay instead the admin is going to look just inside the filament resources so let's open the terminal and let's create a new resource artisan make colon filament dash resource and I'm going to create the department first so department dash dash view also to have the view hit enter which panel would you like to create this in inside the app and the same let's create for the employee hit enter app Let's clean, close, and now if I go inside the filament app, we have resources, and inside the resource we have the employee resource and the department resource. Okay, let's close this and let's open the browser. If I refresh, here we have the department and employees. Right now are empty because we need to fill them. So for that, what I'm going to do, let's go inside the resources and department so this is for the admin i'm going to copy the form here and let's open this department which is inside the app and i'm going to paste inside the form for department details name okay then the same i'm going to do for the table Copy and paste it inside the table also. And then the info list. I'm going to copy this and paste it here. So after the table method, I'm going to paste this one. We need to import the info list a section from the info list, also the text entry and the model and I think we're okay so let's save this and let's see on the browser now we can navigate to departments new department and let's create a new department on Larica so I'm going to say for example inertia or inertia JS like this let's create create it go back and here is the inertia JS now if I change the so let's go to spotty team go to the departments we don't have any let's create new here and let's say for example roles create and we have a role department in just for the spot good let's do the same now for the employees I'm going to navigate inside the employee resource which is inside the admin and also open the employee inside the app and I'm going to copy also here the form paste it here copy columns inside the table okay also if you want you can copy the filters i'm going to 
skip this and also for the delete action but I'm going to copy the info list and paste it and also here we need to import everything so import first the info list import the section from the info list import the text entry and what we have other yeah we need to import also for inside the form we have the set import from element forms get also a collection from the illuminate support collection the state from the half models state then the city and I think we are okay with the imports so just let's save and let's see on the browser if I refresh and navigate inside employees new employee yeah and let's uh, use a fake filler but if I go to department here we have inertia JS and roles but I want to list only the departments belong to this team so the spotty team which is roles for that we need to come here and we need to filter the query the scope of the query so we have the countries state ID we need all the countries yeah all the states all the cities but the department we need to filter that we have a relationship and let's do something like this uh, I'm going to say here modify query using so let's use the modify query using and here I'm going to use a closure so fn we is going to accept the builder and we'll set the last sign query which is going to be query and here now we are going to say where belongs to And now we need to get the tenant, so I'm going to use the filament get tenant method, method like this. We are okay. And now if I save this, and let's see inside the browser if I refresh, yeah, now we have only the roles belong to this uh, team. And let's use now fake filter here. Select the country you want, the state, the city and the department belong to this team also we need to select the dates and let's say create now created go inside the employees here we have the new employee but if i change the team go to the employees we don't see any let's create new employee for the laracast fake filler choose the country state and city and now we have inside the departments we have only the inertia.js because inertia.js belongs to Laracast and let's choose that and let's come here and select this and this and let's say create create it go to the employees tables we have only this one so flowers is the last name of the employee if I change the spotty and see employees is stored the last name okay so this is how to create a new panel inside the filament and also scope the query when we create in a new employee scope the departments that's it all about this video i hope you enjoy friends and don't forget if you like such a video subscribe to my channel share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best